Hi guys, and today we're near Corsham in Box to have a look at the AC couple inverter and battery storage system from Give Energy. One thing you might have noticed is that the current PV system is on the garage and the mains connections are in the house. So how are we going to get them to talk to each other? Well, one thing we could use is the LoRa. Let's go inside and take a look. So this is the existing PV system up here, and that's all now been connected to this lovely new AC couple inverter and the two storage batteries here. Both of these batteries are 8.2 kilowatts each, allowing the customer to save loads of energy. So the AC couple inverter needs to know what the existing PV system is doing, what the house demand is, and what the import and export to the grid is. Because there's no hardwired connection, because as you know, we're in the garage and the house is over there, we're going to use a LoRa and they have uh, two antennas. One is here on the AC couple inverter. We've got one over in the main house and that's going to allow the EM115 to feed all that data into the AC couple inverter. So we're down at the meter end, so inside the house now, and we've got our EM115 installed just here. And that's connected up to our CT clamp with the arrow face and the consumer unit. And the LoRa is installed in this white box here, and that's what's sending the signal down to the AC couple inverter. And the antenna for that is just located up here. Let's take a look at the drawings for the LoRa and how the AC couple inverter, battery pack, and existing PV system all work together. This is a LoRa device and this is the EM115 grid monitoring meter. As we said earlier in the video, the LoRa device transmits data from the EM115 to the battery inverter, allowing for wireless transmissions of the RS485 data. This cuts out the need for running long cables on complex installations. The LoRa device is simple to install and has a range of up to 8 kilometers barrier free. The device can also operate of temperature ranges of minus 20 to 70 degrees Celsius. When you purchase a product, it includes a pair of communicators, so both the transmitter and receiver. This diagram shows a property's electrical system and how the AC coupled battery inverter is connected within the homeowner's distribution board. This is a standard drawing that would usually be used without the LoRa device. The standard CT clamp supplied with the battery inverter is used to monitor the PV generation. This drawing also shows the EM115 connected to the battery inverter with a two cord screen cable. This cable is basically what the LoRa device is replacing. Therefore, with our remote installation away from the main house, the LoRa device is absolutely essential. This drawing shows a close-up of how the EM115 is normally connected to the battery inverter using the meter port connections RS positive and RS negative. If you look at this drawing, we have now replaced the EM115 with the LoRa. So meter port connections RS positive is connected to A1 and RS negative is connected to B1. Connection of the EM115 grid meter to the LoRa. Connect terminal 10 from the EM115 to terminal A1 on the LoRa and then connect terminal 9 to B1. Both LoRa's and the EM115 require main power supply to operate. You will find the live and neutral connections at the top of each device. Give Energy have a very dedicated and knowledgeable technical support team who always find time to answer your questions. You can contact them on 01377 252 874. Give Energy commission every system online. They also continually monitor every system and contact the homeowner if any problems occur. This service is free of charge. If you're thinking of adding battery storage to your existing PV system, then why not give us a call? We'd love to give you a hand and help you with the designs. That's it for today guys. It's been a lovely install at a lovely house, great views and fantastic customers. They're really happy with their installation. Don't forget to like and subscribe, find us on Facebook.